Hello everyone, welcome to another Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about methods in Java and I'll cover the advanced concepts of how you can parameterize your methods or add the parameters to the methods that you are trying to define and then what are the arguments and difference between the parameters and arguments. Along with that, I'll also cover the static keyword for the methods or the static methods and what is the significance of the static keyword when we define a method as static. Now as we have seen here when we are defining these two I have defined these two methods and when we try to call these methods do login and do log out what I have to do is I have to create an object of this class only then I can call these methods right so i can not call these methods directly so if i want to call the method simply by saying do login in main then i need to change it to static so i have to change the reference to static only to call the method directly within the uh, within this particular class so the static keyword what static method does is it that particular method belongs to the class instead of the object so when we do not specify the static keyword to the method that method belongs to the object of that particular class so you have to create an object of that class first before accessing that particular method and that is why in this particular case we had created an object only then we are able to access these two methods. However, now if I change this particular method as static, now we don't need to call the method by creating the object of that particular class. I can directly call the method by just providing the, the name of the method. So do login. Now in this case, it won't throw any error because now this method do login is uh, it belongs to this particular class which is methods demo class and the static methods are the methods which reside into the class and they are not the methods that will be accessible by creating the object so you do not need to create the object of the class to access the static methods so that's the significance or that that's what the static methods are now why do you need the static method or what is the advantage of having the static methods so the static methods the as we have understood that they are not dependent upon the instance creation or the object creation so the advantage of the static method is basically say for example you are writing certain utilities okay so in java as well there is a math class which has a lot of static methods so you don't have to create an object of that particular class to access those methods now any utility for example you are writing the screenshot utility in your selenium automation or any other you know utility then for that utility class you can have those methods as static because those methods can be called without creating the object of that particular class and they are sort of um, they can be shared across all instances of your classes and because of this sharing across all these classes utility whenever you are creating the utilities then they are the best candidates to create as a static method so this is a brief introduction about what exactly the static keyword is what it does and what are the advantages now when it comes to uh, parameters so we are trying to discuss more about the method so here in this case what we had done is we simply use the simple you know methods without any arguments or other parameters so now say for example i want to define a method to add two numbers so add numbers is the method and I want to add numbers and then 
use that particular method to add those numbers whatever numbers i want to specify i just want to specify the numbers and those numbers should get added and i should get the added result or the sum of those two numbers so in this particular case i can provide the parameters in my methods so this particular in the parenthesis here i can simply say if i want to add two numbers so i can say int x comma int y so now what these integer x and y are they are the parameters for this particular method now whenever i am trying to call this method i have to make sure that i have to specify two arguments always whenever i am calling these to uh, this add numbers method now when we define these int x and int y in the method these are called arguments and when we'll call this method and we'll provide the values in this particular method then those are called arguments so these are the parameters we'll understand the arguments as well now we want to add these numbers so what i can do is i can simply sum these numbers so i can write either you know i can store it in a third variable int z and i can say x plus y and then i can return z in this case just give me a sec format it uh change the type return type to int okay right yeah okay so here there was no return type right so that's why it was giving the error now because i had the return type mentioned as void and i was trying to return this so i was getting this particular error so i change it to int and now whatever addition i'm doing i'm returning that and now i can call this method in my main method okay or in any other class i can call this and use this particular method method to add the two numbers this is one way or i can simply rather than writing this i can simply say return x plus y and this will work exactly the same way as we have written the previous code so let me save this and now say for example i have to call this method add numbers here so this is the object of the class which is already created i can simply say md dot and i'll be able to get add numbers method which we have recently added right now these are the arguments that we have to pass so parameters are the integer values or the values of the data type that have been specified within the method and when you pass the actual value so i want to add 5 and 10 then these are the arguments that i have to pass for this particular method right so now if i run this then i'll get the sum of 10 and 15 all right so okay so i have to basically print out i have to say sys out to print the sum on my console and then execute again so let me run again and you can see 15 has been printed so some of these two numbers has been printed now in this particular case i had two arguments or sorry two parameters which are of type integer right in this particular method now can i have a method which has different parameters in it yes you can say for example i'll define another method public void and i'll say diff parameters and i can have string and then i can have int comma separated so int i and then i can have also float f so this in this particular method i want to have only uh, three different parameters which are of different data types and inside let me print out these whatever parameters we are going to pass i just want to print them out on my console when i call this particular method so i'm just trying to show you that it is possible to have 
the parameters which are of different data types in a method and then you can pass those and you can also call them so let me remove all these old ones and then i'll simply use these two so now to call this particular method diff parameters what i have to you i have to do is i have to simply because the object has already been created for this particular class and this is not a static method so i have to this is this has to be uh, called by creating the object of this particular class so md dot diff parameters and then i have to provide three arguments so the first argument is of type string so i can provide any strings so this is string the second argument is type integer so we have to provide integer here if i provide any other type i'll see the error here right so you can see the method diff parameter except string int float in the type methods demo is not applicable for the arguments string and boolean so it has to match the type that we have defined for this these parameters in this particular method so a string integer and float is what we have to specify so here i can specify 12 which is an integer and then float so if i simply specify the value as 23 it will still accept but it will print as float so if i run this you will see the string got printed then the integer and float right so that's how you will use or you will define the parameters into your method and then while calling these methods you have to provide the argument and the difference between the parameters and the arguments is when you define the method whatever data type that your method accepts when you define that those are called parameters so here string s int i and float f are the parameters when you call this method and you provide the values within these method by creating the object of the class and creating this you're know, calling this method these are the arguments that you are passing to this particular method right so that's all about parameters and arguments in the methods and we have also understood about uh, the static methods what is the significance of static method and at that uh, and the advantages uh, so in the next tutorial we'll cover some more java concepts that's all for this tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching